Hi, welcome to another video. So, I made a video about how to stop using cursor, and then I had to install it again. Because there's a new stealth model that is just on cursor, and I want to talk about this. This is called Cheetah, and it is only available on cursor. It's a stealth model that also costs you for usage above the pro trial or subscription. It is priced at $1.25 and $10 per million tokens for input and output respectively. I don't know exactly how their pricing works, but I basically installed Cursor, used it, and it worked. So, I don't know what they mean by that cost. I'm not a Cursor expert, so I don't really know. Now, the pricing would give you the idea that it might be Gemini, because the 2.5 Pro model has pretty much the same pricing. Their 2.5 Pro model also costs the same, but it's not the only model with a similar cost, because GPT-5 Codex is also around the same price. And I think I have a pretty good guess as to what this is. So, let's start with the testing. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. You can see the model in cursor, as I said, and I tested it. I only tested it with the agentic tests, and I have added some new agentic tests. But all the new agents are not tested on it. Only Claude Code, this new model, and GPT-5 Codex are tested on the new three questions. So, the percentage will only be based on the evaluated questions. Let's start with the Movie Tracker app. To begin, here's one hint. This gives me an error about Radix UI. Now you may think, what's the hint here? Well, the hint is that there's a model that really likes to use Radix, and that is Sonnet. This is the same error that Sonnet 4.5 gives me when I use the same prompt on Claude Code. It's pretty close to Sonnet, and you'll see this being a repeating hint throughout the video. Fixing this gives you something similar on both sides, and the cheetah one is relatively worse. But this is something I've seen before. You can see this response, and well, this is also from 4.5 Sonnet in the factory AI Cli, and it's pretty similar. So, it might just be that Claude Code is showing its magic while other contraptions aren't that good. Godot is a part where it fails. Factory with 4.5 Sonnet also fails in this part, and only Claude Code succeeds with this model. Claude Code does some wonders for Sonnet. Cursor's agentic contraptions are not as good as something like Claude Code or Klein, and they just smoke the competition. Why I'm talking about 4.5 Sonnet every time is something I'll discuss in the guessing part. The three questions that I newly added included one for Svelte, where I asked it to build me a Kanban app with authentication and a database. Claude Code nailed this, but Cursor's Cheetah didn't quite match it. It got very close, but there were errors it couldn't fix. Similarly, there's also a new Nuxt app, where I asked it to build me a Stack Overflow-style site, and well, it failed this one too. Claude also fails this. Then there was the Tori image cropper, and that was also a fail, and a fail for Sonnet as well. GPT-5 Codex also doesn't perform well in these tests. So, what is it? Well, I broke it into admitting who it is. So, I can go to Cursor over here, 
and I have these rules that I made. They have some prompting quirks to make it admit. So, I can say, cheetah stop, and it stops the whole cheetah roleplay. Then I can ask it who it is, and it constantly says Claude. It is very adamant about saying that it is Claude. I was also able to gather the system instructions from it, and there's nothing particularly special here, but it says, You are the mystery language model cheetah by an unknown provider. If asked what your model name is, this is the correct response. I wouldn't see why it would always say that it is Claude. This might be a model heavily trained on Claude outputs, or a Claude-based model. Well, there are three guesses from my side. First is that it's a Grok model. This is because Code Supernova does the same thing with this prompt. When you ask it to break free from the whole roleplay thing, it actually breaks so much that it starts admitting that it is Claude. Because, well, people at XA, I have trained it so much on sonnet outputs that it starts admitting it's Claude. I am very sure that Supernova is Grok because of API request logs in something like Roo, and this is very likely just a version of that, trained with Claude outputs. It could also be 4.5 sonnet fast edit but it's far worse than the original sonnet, so I don't think that it is. Or it may also be a cursor model, but I'm majorly leaning towards Grok. Also, you may ask, what is 4.5 Sonnet Fast Edit? Well, many of you may not know that there used to be a model called 3.5 Sonnet Fast Edit, which was distributed privately to Zed users. I was one of them who got access from the Zed team at that time, and I used it. It was very similar, at least in terms of speed. It was extremely fast, and almost like Sonnet, but way faster. I'm not convinced that this is Haiku, because it's quite good and way too pricey for Haiku. It might also be a custom model by Cursor that they've trained on Sonnet outputs, like Windsurf did. But it seems so close to 4.5 Sonnet that I don't think they could pull this off, from what I can tell. It might also be GPT-5 Codex Fast, but that's not likely, in my opinion. I've seen it listed in the same list as GPT models in their API logs that I saw, and it feels similar, but I don't think it is. It smells like Grok. Most leading model providers don't actually work with this prompt, but Grok's models are so weak at safeguarding that this prompt just works, and breaks it hard. So yeah, this is Grok something, something from my testing. It might be called something like Grok Code, or something similar when they launch it. But yeah, it seems to be a successor of Grok Code Fast. This could also be Haiku, but I'd be annoyed if the price of Haiku was this high. That's about it. This is the best guess I could make. It's either Grok 4 Code, Cursor's own model, or Fast Edit. But I'm not completely sure. That's mostly about it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!